Redditors, what is your never again brand? Walmart. They treat their employees like crap and donate to politicians I despise. My boycott has lasted so long it's a mancot. Samsung for putting ads in the menu of my TV that I paid for. Walmart. I finally stopped going after I went in last month and was treated like absolute crap. It was never a surprise to me to be basically ignored, but this time was different. I grabbed a nail polish from the beauty area. My toddler wanted to hold it so I let her. Went on about my shopping. Started looking for hair gel for my husband. Some lady come up to me and asked me, where did you get that nail polish? I told her where and asked if she could show me where the men's hair gel was. She said, why, so you can steal that too. I look at her and ask her what she means. She tells me that things from the little closed off beauty section have to be paid for there. There was no cashier or other associate in there, there is no sign saying that items have to be paid for there nothing. How the hell should I have known? I tell her I'll go right after I get the hair gel and I'll just pay for them both. She says no, I will go now or she will confiscate the thing I was trying to steal and that I can't bring other merchandise into the area and can't pay anything else. After deducing that I have to do two transactions on my credit card for two items, I say screw it. Tell her to take the nail polish and I start to leave. On my way out I'm approached by some dick in a rent-a-cop costume asking me to show him what's in my purse. Oh, you can go beep yourself. If you think me and my 21-month-old have stolen something you can call the cops. I asked for a manager and the security dude told me I wasn't entitled to see one. I've tried twice to contact corporate and no one has responded so I quit. I will never go there again. Wells Fargo. Beep you Wells Fargo. Edit, thank you for the silver kind stranger. And thank you all for commiserating about this asshole company. I signed up for a 5k race one time going through this company that manages foot races. I put my info in, put my credit card info in, and got my race bib in the mail a few days later. Didn't think anything about it. About a year later, I was looking through my bank account and found a $144 charge to re-up my subscription to the booking company. I had not asked for that at all. I called the company and was on hold for 45 minutes. They finally put me through. I told them what had happened and how I hadn't wanted their service. All I really wanted was to make sure that I wasn't going to be charged again. The guy was incredibly rude. He kept interrupting me, told me that I wouldn't have been charged if I hadn't opted in for it on the website, which was a tiny checkmark in a series of other checkmarks, then hung up on me. I've done a number of races since then, but active advantage and I will never meet again. Electronic Arts stopped giving them any of my money maybe 10 years ago and have not felt like I was missing out at all. Fabletics. I was reminded of this yesterday. I subscribed to them, got some workout sets, but their business model is subscription, so on the first of the month, you go into your account and skip if you don't want to be charged for that month. If you don't skip, they will charge you $50 and not send anything unless you go in and pick an outfit. You'll be left with a $50 credit in your account until you want to buy something. So no matter what you do, you are required to complete a task every month whether you purchase or not. But wait, it gets better. If you have a credit in your account and decide to purchase something later, and put items that are marked down into your cart, when you click on use credit, your cart resets and charges you full price. You have to contact CS to fix this, and if you wait too long to check out or make any changes to it, your cart will keep resetting to full price. And there's more. I kept getting charged, so I set a calendar alert and starting taking. A screenshot of my skips. I also had a gift card with a low balance on it as my account CC so that if anything went wrong, it would fail. So I go in and skip, take my screenshot, and later in the month notice that my main CC has been charged $50, wait a second, I skipped. Wait a second, that CC is not stored in my account. Yep, they charged me after skipping, and charged a card that I had used for a previous purchase, not the one that they had an agreement for. Slapped a charge back on them which instantly gave my money back and cancelled. They are predatory and scammy and I will never buy from them again. Edited to add, someone in the comments reminded me that this year they offered vets a discount for Veterans Day, boot record scratch. Only for men. Then tried to backpedal and blame it on their CS agents when they got called out. Terrible company all around. Morphe makeup, such awful quality, got it as a gift and felt bad for the person who spent their money to buy it for me. La Choy Soy Sauce. How do you beep up soy sauce? They give that beep away for free at every Asian restaurant in America. I thought soy sauce was soy sauce. Like table salt the brand doesn't matter. 
It matters. Edit. I had to look up la choy. Turns out it isn't even real soy sauce, it's a chemical cocktail designed to taste sorta like soy sauce. It technically has soy product in it, hydrolyzed defatted soy meal, but that's about all it has in common. Real soy sauce is brewed and fermented for at least 6 months, years for the good stuff. La choya's can be produced in 2 days. Coles. I can't stand stores that always seem to have like a 40% off sale where their merchandise still seems overpriced. I bought a pair of jeans there that literally disintegrated in the washing machine. Not mine, but my wife has boycotted Victoria's Secret. Samsung appliances. We had a dryer, oven, and dishwasher all die within a week of each other. The oven and dishwasher were less than two years old. The dryer was five years old. Skullcandy headphones. Each pair fell apart faster than the last. I only go with Sony or better now. Uber Eats absolutely sucks. Their customer support is a joke. You can't talk to anyone on the phone. Fine, I get it, it's a pandemic. But the online help you get goes like this, you message them on the app, asking for help. Someone responds to you wanting more info. You respond to them with more info. Someone else responds, but they somehow don't know what you said in your response, only what you said first and asks for more info. You respond to them again. A third person responds, same deal as second one. By this point you're like, what the beep around person six or seven, you threaten to call the bank and dispute the order, then someone magically understands the issue and resolves it. But even then, not really. I was once told that I would be refunded for a sloppy delivery. They never did. When I reached out to them, they told me to talk to my bank. My bank refunded me. Next time I went to use Uber Eats, it wouldn't let me order unless I paid for the amount that I was refunded. That's when I switched over to Grubhub and got Grubhub Plus. It's been smooth sailing ever since. Free delivery. Great perks and discounts. Customer service where you can actually talk, on the phone, to a human being. If there's a dispute, it's immediately fixed. Samsung. Pushing ads to TVs. Bloating a TV with unrequested, unremovable apps. Defaulting to apps without any permissions requested. Seagate. Their hard drives have let me down too many times. Apple. In my opinion, their products are overpriced, lack interactivity with other brands, designed for obsolescence, and bring little to the table other than the brand name. Hobby Lobby. The owners refused to cover birth control as part of their employees' health insurance, which they were legally required to do. They also illegally bought millions of dollars worth of pillaged and smuggled religious artifacts, likely funding ISIS in the process. They wrote a letter to the White House asking to be exempt from LGBTQ anti-discriminatory laws. Scumbag billionaires. Garnier face skin products apparently I'm really allergic to something that only they specifically seem to use in their products. I can use anything from the drugstore except Garnier. Instant chemical burns. It doesn't seem to matter what product it is either. It all melts my skin in a very ugly way. Ford. Thanks to that piece of beep focus slash Fiesta transmission. I won't use anything related to Facebook. Nestle and Chiquita, United Fruit Corp. Listen to the podcast Swindled, it will infuriate you. Bought a Chevy Cruze that needed a new engine and a new transmission before 70k miles. Amazon. Whenever it's reasonably possible, I don't buy through Amazon. Amazon. At this point. Jeff Bezos is just a dragon sitting atop a pile of gold. Does Swiss Miss still package their cocoa like idiots? If so, then them. May your day be filled with joy and happiness. And please remember to like, share, and subscribe for more quality content every day.